Next question. The following information is available in respect of rate of return on investment R, equity capitalization rate K, and earning portion of a manufacturing company. K is 25%, expected earning portion is 20, and the rate of earning is 25%. Determine value of its share in each alternative as per Walter model. Assuming the following dividend payout ratio 0, 0.5 and 1. Again, compute the answer and put your answer in the chat box. Next question. 1 minus P is the dividend payout ratio 0. Retention ratio is 1. Earning per share is 20. Dividend per share is 0. Why? Because the dividend payout ratio is 0. EPS minus DPS is 20, that is 20 minus 0, and the last is MPS, that is dividend per share plus EPS minus DPS into R upon K, whole upon K. What is dividend? It is 0. EPS minus DPS is 20 into R is 0 0.25 upon 0 0.25 whole divided by 0 0.25. So, of course, we understand that say for this 20 multiplication division, same value. So, 20 will remain same divided by 0 0.25 that will give answer of 80 rupees. In the second case where it is 50 50, it is 20, it is 10, that is 20 into 0.5. This is once again 10, that is 20 minus 10. Finally, the market price of the share in which the dividend per share is 10 plus 10 into 0.25 divided by 0.25, whole divided by 0.25. So what will happen, this value is going to remain 10 plus 10, that is 20, divided by 0.25, that comes to 80. That is the way the price is calculated. In the last case, we have the retention ratio as 1, dividend payout ratio as 0. This is 20. So 20 into 1, that is 20 itself. 20 minus 20, it is 0. Market price of the share in that dividend per share is 20 plus 0 into 0.25 divided by 0.25 whole divided by 0.25. That comes to 80 rupees. So again, we understand simply that as R and K are same. For any dividend payout ratio, price will remain same. So, write down one line answer. S R equals to K, comma, for any dividend payout ratio, comma, market price of equity share. will remain same. This is the way we are required to draw the conclusion.